Hello, Dr. Bedijo here. Today I'm going to show you how to clip an ortho mosaic within Agisoft Metashape Professional. So that's the software I'm using here, and I've got right in front of me an ortho mosaic that I had built from a UAV dataset or drone dataset. Um, I'll just quickly show you. You know, we have our dataset here. Uh, we took photos. Right? In another video, I actually show how to take these photos and how to georeference them using ground control points. Right. But then we got all the way to where we generated an ortho mosaic, and now we want to export this. And but we actually want to export it a little bit cleaned up. I want to clip away some of these jagged edges here and make a nice sharp straight line maybe across the back here. So that is possible to do in Agisoft Metashape, and oftentimes people overlook these tools. So I want to show you guys that today. So first, open up your ortho mosaic. Go up here to draw polygon right so that's the tools at the top draw polygon and start adding vertices so let's say i want to be here in the corner add one there and down here nice sharp edge right there the one right there and then i can go all the way across pretty much and Yours might be a different shape, obviously. We have different data sets, but just spend some time kind of looking through your data set and see what you want to chop off. Sometimes there's really bad data around the collars, around the edges of your ortho mosaic, and you'll just want to trim that away. Um, this one's actually pretty solid and fairly flat landscape, so it's pretty solid all the way around, so I just want to keep most of it here. All right, when you're done, go back to that original ver vertex and just double click, and it'll do what you see here on the screen where it shows you the vertices right and it'll actually have a little label on that line and it usually puts number one as a default once this is done here go back up here and click the arrow key the navigation button and I want you to right click on the actual line itself and go to where it says set boundary type outer boundary now what this is saying to the computer is that Everything outside of this, we're going to clip away. Right? This is our outer boundary of what we want to keep. So you'll see that it has already changed to this little um, black and red dashed line. And that's, that's good. That's exactly what you want. This is telling the computer that when you export it, it'll clip it right here at that boundary. So the last thing left to do is actually export. You'll right click here where it says ortho mosaic. And you can go export with mosaic, export JPEG, TIFF, PNG, right? You can get to that through here. Or if you don't see this show up because you haven't opened this here, you can go over to File, Export, Export with Mosaic, and click there. And what you'll notice right off the bat, if you kind of you know scan your eyes down here, you'll see it says Clip to Boundary Shapes. That's what we just created there, and it automatically puts a little check mark, which is kind of nice. So double check that everything's okay in terms of your coordinate system um, and all of these other parameters. And when you're ready, just get hit export, put in your export folder, and again, I work within this three folder structure. And I'm going to overwrite this file here because now I have a nice clipped one. And this would be just to export the ortho mosaic. Now the next step we want to take is to export this clip file, right? This uh, polygon that we just created. And that way we can use it later in ArcGIS Pro or another GIS software uh, in order to clip. Or let's say we're creating a tiled model, we can use this as our boundary. So we're going to go ahead and go to where it says Shapes expand that and what you'll see here is the polygon that you created in order to clip your ortho mosaic. You'll want to right click that, go to export layers. Um, I would just put it in the same export folder so you know where it is. I typically will call mine clip frame and I may even add the name of the ortho mosaic because it's particular to that one. All right? So actually I'm going to call this one West SP San Pedro save same coordinate system 
everything looks good. I can keep the shape labels, attributes. Really, this doesn't matter. We're just using it um, for its geometry. Hit OK. And that will be very fast because it's just this little polygon that's being exported. Now, what's really great about this little polygon here that you're using as a clip frame for the ortho mosaic is it also doubles to be a, kind of a cookie cutter for your tiled model as well. So if you've ever worked with those 3D tiled models, which is basically just the model, um, I'll take an example here, that shows you various levels of detail of the 3D model. So here's our 3D model of this hillside here. Um, as I zoom in, it changes and shifts level of detail to get more detailed. All right. These can also be clipped so that these fringes that are kind of ugly and, and are, are bad data can be clipped away so it looks like a better uh, tiled model as you upload it online. Because right? you don't really want to present this to a client or, or use it in a research project. Um, I would say cleaning it up would be a better bet. So the way this wor works here is you go to your ortho mosaic. Same thing. I had already made one of these little clip frames here for this model. And this model doubles as the boundary for the tiled model as well. So if I went, open this up and looked at my tiled model, it's nine levels of detail. I right click it, export tiled model. I choose a place for it. Right. I had one already made here. I hit save. It's going to ask if I want to replace it. Sure. Reading this dialog, you'll see it says clip to boundary shapes same exact thing so once i hit ok it exports it with all of this stuff on the fringe clipped away and you can see all this garbage here that gets basically clipped away so you have a perfect tiled model that you want to display and that's pretty much everything thanks for watching